And here I'm going to talk about section breaks and I'm going to talk about working with multiple masters. You've got your slideshow here. You can break it into sections which can make things really good for you. And I'm going to go into here and I'm, let's say I go, I click in between this slide here. You've got a little orange line there. You could right click and say add section. And I want to call it something. I don't want to call it untitled. I right click inside there. I say rename. And I'm going to call this intro. And then I hit, click rename or hit the enter key. Let's say I want to go down a little bit here. And I want to put something, another section here. Right click, add section. And let's say this is on Excel or any other topic here. Rename selection, say Excel. So you got that, and I'm going to go up to the very beginning. It says default section. I'm just going to go in here, right click inside here, again, rename the selection, and, and call this intro comments. So what we have now are three sections here. If I right click inside anyone here, I can say collapse all. It shows the sections and the slides that are in there. You can, it allows you to do it. I click in here, it'll, if I click inside here, it's just going to show the slides within that one section. You can move a section around, like if I want the Excel section at the beginning, you could just click and drag it up. I'm also going to go into the view here for the outline view. It shows everything in here and what you have here, if I just click inside anyone, right click here, I could say collapse all or expand all. I have those two things here. I say collapse all. So it's showing those in there. And you can move a slide, like if I have nine here, I could pull it up to here. Um, if you want to move a section around, you do this in the normal view. So if I go into the normal view, and then I right click inside here, and I'm just going to say collapse all. You could expand all. So if I want the Excel to be up here, I just go and drag it up. Very easy. Now the other thing too here, you can apply different styles in the master or designs I should say so everything right now is the same but what I want to do here I want to change things in the master okay it can be a little tricky but it's not difficult so if I want to go and apply something here I just go onto the view tab which I still am on I go into the slide master and what it is here it goes into here this is this master here but what I need to do is to add additional, the other masters in here. To do that, I'm just going to work with this one right now. I'm going to go into themes here, and I'm going to just use this green one here. I'm going to go back into the slideshow. It's going to show everything here all that way. So what I need to do to fix this, I'm going to go back into the master so what I need to do um, I'm gonna right click inside here I'm gonna say insert slide master I have a second one here and if I want this master here I'm gonna go into here and I'm just gonna make it the blue one okay and then let's say I want to go and add another slide master. You can do a lot of things in here. I'm going to go into I now have one, two, three masters, okay? I'm going to go into here. I'm going to click on themes and then I'm going to make this one purple, okay? So we got several colors here. And then it added this one here. I'm going to right click in here. And then I'm going to delete this master. I don't want it. So if I go down here, I scroll. You can see you have three brightly colored ones. Okay. I'm going to close the master view here. Now, everything here, as you can see, is all the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into here. I'm going to right click into here. And I'm going to say collapse all. 
I'm going to go into the Excel group. I want a different design. I click on design. It shows the themes here. I click in here. These are the different masters for this one here. I click in this purple one here. Now I go into this one here and I will all make this click in here. And I'm going to click on the blue one. So it goes into there. So if I go into this thing here and I just page down, oops, hold on, I will um, expand all. So if I go down here, I'm hitting the page down real fast. You can see how you're getting different styles in each section. So that way you can make things stand out. Other thing too I want to talk about. You want it to put in transitions in a slideshow. So if you want to do transitions and have them flow, make it a little bit more visual, you would click on transitions, okay? Tons of things here. And you could click on one like fracture. It gives you a sample. You could go into curtains, drape, whatever. And I am going to, um, and I always say, be decisive. Um, you don't want it to be too fancy, but you want it to be interesting. I'll just go to gallery. What I want to do, I want to apply this to everything here. Do you see what it says effect option? Apply to all. You click on that. You want you don't put sound in there. Don't ever. It's really nasty. That's the only word I could say. It's totally 1994. But this is showing you working with the master and different designs on it. 